from award-winning author and poet. Lee, you have a poem that you would love to share. I can't I wait do. to hear it. Yeah. Uh, shall I stand or shall I sit? Um, I think sitting is better, yeah. yeah. Um, this was actually written for a Truth and Reconciliation book called Buffalo Shout, Sam and Cry, and it was performed in the Moving Gallery, which is the play I talked about. Tletwatu Chetu Sanok Kukwitlam. The mountains rise behind my ancestors and retreat from our care in the sale of them, orchestrated by a department that sought our vanquishment. $25 became millions in the blink of an eye. $25 became hunger, cold in the next blink. Food became inadequate. The murder of cedar, sea vegetables, osk, whale, and sockeye crippled our ability to eat. We struggled to mature without food. Mr. Harper's sorry, me too. We could have recovered from smallpox. We could have recovered from other epidemics. We had shui shui, we had medicine, we had songs and dances, but we were banned from singing, dancing, and using medicine. We could have recovered. We had friends, Christian friends, but they were banned from helping us. We could have said something, but we were banned from speaking about land rights, fishing rights, and the right to educate our children. Blind justice. This is a call song. Settlers did not come here as blind men. They witnessed murder. Some of them killed us. Some of them still kill us. They witnessed the murder of cedar, of vegetables, of sockeye, the poisoning of our lands. Everyone is sorry now. Me too. We could have included you in ceremony of facing ourselves, recovering ourselves, transforming ourselves, but our ceremonies were banned. Harper's sorry, me too. Still, I am not tragic, not even in my addicted moments, a needle hanging from the vein of my creased arm. I was not tragic, even as I jumped from a skiff in a vain attempt to join my ancestors. I was not tragic. Even in my disconnection from song, from dance, I am not tragic. Even in seeing you as privileged, I found songs of justice to sing. Oh, freedom. Even while you occupied my homeland, I, in a homeless state, did not begrudge you your privilege. Even as men abduct us as we hitchhike along highways to disappear along this long colonial road, I found a way to stand up and subvert colonial injustice. My body has always understood justice. Everyone eats is our law. We included you. There is no word for exclusion in our language, so your whiteness was never a threat. This is not the first mass of death we endured. As we died, we girded up our loins, recovered and rebuilt. We are builders, we are singers, we are dancers, we are speakers. We are still singing, we're dancing again. We are speaking poetry on paper, on metal, and on plastic film. In the many millennia of life, we have learned there are constants. The tide surges, retreats faithfully. Threatened fishes struggle to return. The epidemic dead always come back. Plants, trees, animals always fight to recover. We endured high look, tsunami of the sort that nearly killed everyone. We endured earthquakes and storms, but the plants, the people, and the animals fought to return. I am your witness. Inspired by Earth's response to desecration, the waters will cleanse the Earth. Hurricanes will rearrange rivers. Earthquakes will object, but the Earth will do her duty, and we will too. We will all have to face ourselves, our sense of justice. We will need to nourish our imagination, summon our souls, our hearts and minds to a justice which includes all life together. So I call you, come, hear this song, sing with me. I'm not the only vulnerable one here. Our sharing is not our weakness, but our strength. Mm. I've been waiting for all these years waiting for you to see me, to hear this song. I'm not the only one that needs help here. The sharing of my country with us, with you, defines your humanity. 
You need us as much as I need you. Hi, it's Kassiam. Let's you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.